Hello, let me show you the general document workflow in Rigger. Every new job starts with a rental service agreement. We go to Oilfield Rentals, Rental Service Agreements list, and we click Create. In a new rental service agreement, we select the start of the job date. We select the type of the rental agreement based on the pricing approach. If you use daily pricing, you select oil field rentals or oil field services. If you apply your monthly rates, you switch to general rentals agreement. And the monthly prices will be available. Switching back to oil field rentals, we select client, location of the client. We also can select the rig and engineer who is rep representative of the client. We put the start date of the job. That will be the start date of the rental period in the delivery ticket. The end date can be blank or you can fill it in with the end date to show the estimated total amount for the job in the quote. Then we enter our rental equipment by clicking on Add button and we double click on the item field and we can select from the whole list of the rental equipment or we can start typing and selecting our unit. We put the quantity of the units and the prices are taken out from the rental from the price list or price agreement. The particular unit numbers will be entered in the delivery ticket. Also we can select the services and parts, choose the quantity. We can also add additional fees and put any comments to the job. Through the comments you can communicate to the client in the external comment box which will be shown on the print forms of the document or if you want to deliver some information and details about the job to your team, you can enter it in the internal comment and these comments will stay only in the system. Once everything is entered, we post our rental service agreement and we can print out the daily cost sheet or quote and rental service agreement. Then we change the status to approved This is the mandatory step in, in rigor. Without changing the status to approved, you will not be able to generate a delivery ticket. Then, when we change the status to approved, we click on generate and we generate delivery ticket. The first delivery ticket type will be delivery. And here you can see the start date uh, of the delivery ticket and deployment date, which is the start of the rental period. We can change the shop from which we are going to deliver our equipment. We select the field technician who will do this job and his truck. In case if you use the external transportation services for delivering your equipment, you can switch to carrier and enter all the details about the carrier. Then we select our unit numbers from the available list and check the services and parts. If everything is OK, we po post the delivery ticket and again we can print out the delivery ticket. If you need to issue the invoice for the client for the ongoing job, we can go to the rental service agreement. If you want to check all the related documents to this rental service agreement, you can check it on the related documents section. And here we have only one delivery ticket delivery. Going back to main section, we can generate our rental invoice. To generate the rental invoice, I would suggest to close the rental service agreement and open up again. You click on generate and find the rental invoice. You select the date of the invoice, say it will be September 15th. We click Generate. 
and here's our invoice with all three unit numbers start date and end date and total amount services and parts are here as well and we are ready to post our invoice to make it active in the system after that we can print out our invoice print form if you want to bring your equipment back to the warehouse you can go back to the rental service agreement and click generate a new delivery ticket a new delivery ticket will be automatically changed to return type we can change again the date of the return and pick up our unit numbers we can move them all clicking on the right arrows click OK and again we select our field technician and that's it we click post that will mean that this equipment will be moved from the client's location to our main shop and this equipment equipment will be available again for the dispatching that's it for the general document workflow in rigor thank you